Yeah, hello, welcome to this channel. So, we are asked that if 45 to the power of x is equal to 75, what is 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 2? Mm. That seems somehow tactical, but let's see how this goes. When I saw this question, the first thing that came to my mind is I can split 45 into 3s and 5s, the same thing with this side. So, let me do that first. So, to do that, I had to divide through. So I divided by 3 to get what? 15, right? Then I divided by 3 again to get 5. Then I divided by 5 to get 1. So that simply means that 45 can be expressed as 3 squared multiplied by 5, okay? Then I'm going to check 75. If I check 75, when 3 divides 7, we have 2, 2 remainder 1. If we divide 15, we have 5. Then we have 25. 25 is same thing as 5 squared, right? So that means 75 can be expressed as 3 multiplied by 5 squared. So that is exactly what I'm going to do now. So 45 to the power of x is 3 squared. 3 squared multiplied by 5. Okay, everything raised to the power of x is equal to 75 is 3 multiplied by 5 squared. Okay, now I want to open those brackets. And to do that, recall that a to the power of m multiplied by a, sorry, <laughs> a multiplied by b, everything raised to the power of a number is equal to a to the power of x multiplied by b to the power of x, okay? So that simply means that I can rewrite the left-hand side as 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 5 to the power of x is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 squared. Now, I want to bring my 3s together and my 5s together, okay? And to do that, I'm going to first of all divide the left-hand side by 3. So, let me divide through by 3, divided by 3, divided by 3. Now, I have, recall, that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n, okay? So, let's apply that here. If we do that, we have... 3, we have 3, 3, so we are going to pick 1, 3. Then we have 2x. The power of 3 here is 1, so it's going to be 2x minus 1, okay? Multiplied by 5 to the power of x is equal to... Now here, this we divide this and we are left with 5 squared. All right. Now, we also... I want to bring 5 to one side and then 3 to one side. So I'm going to divide through by what? 5 to the power of x in order to bring it to this side. So I will have... 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 2 divided by 5 to the power of x, okay? So this we divide this and we have 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 2 minus x. I've already explained this particular law. All right. Now, at this point, we need to introduce log to both sides of the equation. But I'm going to introduce log to base 3 instead, yes. Because I have something I want to transform here. So, I have log to base 3 of 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to log to base 3 of 5 to the power of 2 minus x. All right. Now, when you have log a to the power of b, this is equal to b multiplied by log a. All right? So we can now bring down, that simply means that we can bring down the powers. We can bring down the powers. So we now have 2x minus 1 log what? 3 base 3 is equal to 2 minus x log 5 base 3. All right? Now I want us to note that log a base a is equal to 1. Therefore, log 3 base 3 is equal to 1. Therefore, that means the left-hand side of the equation becomes what? We have 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 minus x log 3 base 5. Now, let's divide both sides of this equation by 2 minus x. So, we have divided by 2 minus x, divided by 2 minus x. Now we are going to have 2x minus 1 divided by 2 minus x, okay? 
is equal to this is going to cancel this we have log 5 base 3 all right i want us to check our question let's not be too fast now the question says we should solve 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 2. So when you look at this, we have 2x minus 1, but we don't have x minus 2 here. So that is the question. What do we do? To change this, I need to multiply this by minus 1. But in mathematics, you can't just multiply one side of the equation by minus 1. You either multiply through or you multiply up and down by the same thing so that you don't change anything. So what I will do is minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 1 divided by minus 1 multiplied by 2 minus x that way i've not really added anything because i can cancel this and this is the same thing is equal to log 5 base 3 all right now i'm going to leave the numerator the way it is yes because if i touch the numerator i've changed it again so i'm going to leave it and change the denominator first so i will have minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 1 divided by minus 1 times 2 will give us minus 2 <coughs> excuse me minus one times minus x will give us plus x all right so i've gotten the denominator which says x minus two right x minus two i've gotten that one now we this is equal to log five base three but we have a problem here this minus one what do we do to it the only way to clear this is if i multiply both sides of the equation by minus one so i will multiply both sides that is the left hand side and the right hand side by minus one and if i do that minus one will cancel minus one to give us 2x minus one divided by i'm going to write this as x minus two okay is equal to then if i multiply this side by minus one i will have minus log five base three and this becomes our final answer because this is actually what we are asked to solve so it means that the answer is minus log 5 base what 3 so whatever we got as log 5 base 3 we are going to add the negative to it thanks so much for watching and